My dad is a Spurs fan, but today he's taking charge of their biggest rivals, Arsenal. But I'm left to be the manager of his beloved Tottenham Hotspur. I guess I've drawn the short straw. So we have five seasons to battle it out against each other now on Football Manager. And I'm sure nothing too crazy will happen. Omega Dad has signed Harry Kane for Arsenal. He said, I've always hated Spurs. <laughs> A reminder of the points tally is as follows. You gain one point for a higher league finish, one point for a victory over each other, one point for eliminating each other from a cup competition, three points for a domestic cup win, four points for a domestic league win, five points for a Europa slash Europa conference win, and seven points for the Champions League win. Well, I thought you'd never see the day. No, nope, nor did I. Uh, Mega Dad is Arsenal manager. What am I doing? <laughs> Hilarious because I am the Spurs manager yeah. and we're actually playing each other in the next game as well but obviously we can't show what happens there. Good little twist to it really isn't it? Absolutely. Nice little twist. Makes it interesting. I'm Spurs, you're Arsenal. No That's transfers for either of us. No nope. season either. I mean not that we had the money. I had £5 million left so there we go. So let's have a look at the tactics then for this first season and how we got on. I am playing strikerless. Because they don't have any strikers, or any good ones anyway, so it's, it's doing okay. It's, it, it is a good team. When you see it like that, it is a good team, really. Yeah. And, and I, looking at it, I felt I agree with you when you've done it. I can see why you've done it. Um, and you put all the best players, I think, into the team. Yeah, that's the trouble. Like, Werner is a natural striker, but with 11 finish and 11 yeah. composure, so no thank you. And Richarlison is another natural uh, striker. He's just not doing it, really. Is yeah, he's one of those players, exactly. isn't he? No. 12 off the ball and 11 composure, not in the Premier League, son. Speaking of son, uh, he could be a good striker, to be fair. He could have put, run the line for me up front, but I think he's just so much better on that wing. He always... I mean, when Harry Kane was there, he, he was so good at this this, this position, wasn't he? So, yeah, yeah, you'd be silly not to play him there, I think. So, yeah, strikers formation. Uh, we have lost two games, but they are against Liverpool and Man City. So, I'm kind of like, oh, well, okay then. But in the game where I think we are, have a level playing field... Chelsea, 2-0. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Also not that Peterborough on penalties, but I did play a fully rotated team. But we are against Dad next in the following game. So at the end of the season, it'll be interesting to see how that come about. Yeah. How, how we actually performed against each other there. Dad, also, no transfers for you either. You only no. had £5 million. Of course, you did spend £197 million anyway. Well, um, Declan Rice came in, which was a good signing for, for Arsenal at the time, wasn't it? Um, and Timber came in, but obviously, we all know that injury. he got the injury. Guy um, Havertz. Yeah, which was another good signing, I felt, really. Okay, well, that's news to me that's not what you've ever said before no though, right? i'm going by the game it's, it's, <laughs> it's killing me by saying this is great <laughs> tactically then gone for a 4-2-3-1 yep um and i had to lock um erdegaard, like, erdegaard in. in because it kept on changing it and putting him back into the midfield yeah into that position and putting smith Rowe. and i think it's one of these things we kept on saying this didn't we because we've signed smith Rowe before haven't we and yeah. how good he is you just forget how good he is and he kept on pushing odegaard back where i wanted odegaard in that position yeah you'd rather it swapped around really. yeah definitely yeah but um, um, so I locked him in that position. That's where I wanted it. Um, and so. if Smith Rowe drops down there, that's not the uh, the worst. Yeah, thing that's to right. Happen, yeah, but to be I mean, my two wingers speak for themselves. They're just out out of this world. I think really. Yeah. Um, and Jazu's up front is a good striker as well. I think really. So Declan Royce to do the job for me in in the uh, defensive midfield. But what a defensive line I've got as well. Mm. And I'm going to take my head out. Ramsdale is my goalkeeper for the season. I don't care what Arsenal fans say. Let's have a look at the schedule so far then. How's this been treating you? Well, you've also lost the game to Manchester City in the yeah. Community Shield. You beat Brighton 4-1. Good start of the season, yeah. But two draws. Oh, one against Fulham, one against Manchester United. Yeah. Bit disappointed with the start, really. Started off well with a 4-1 win against Brighton. Then disappointed. But then I've got the big game now, and I? The London Derby. Champions League fits just that because you're in the Champions League. Yeah. Feyenoord, Milan and Real Sociedad. Should qualify from that quite comfortably, Should. I feel. Yeah, I mean, Milan's obviously going to be uh, yeah. against you for the top top of the group, but we'll see what happens there. But yeah, here we go. North London derby. You guys have been asking for us to do it for ages. Just not this way round. But just <laughs> not this way round. <laughs> so, nice little twist for you. Let's see what happens. The points are exactly the same in season number one. What happens? First season and Spurs are above Arsenal. 
Oh, 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 Strike us! How hilarious! 83 points. Oh, I was only two points off the title. Yeah, yeah it's a good finish. I mean, you, you won all your last games of the season. Both teams above you lost a couple. Yeah. Man City only lost three games, but they drew 10, which lost was obviously two the, Villa. Yeah, which, there's a side and factor there. I lost seven. And I lost against you. Ooh. We'll have to see whether it was that first game yeah. or the second one, really. You lost 11 games still, Dad. Yeah. You were way off the pace where we were. Because, obviously, I, actually, I finished 10 points above Manchester United there. So, I, mean, I was in, safe in The third. interesting thing there is uh, my goal difference. Got the lowest goal difference. Yes. Well, outside of Chelsea, who, yeah, is, is a little a bit, bit disappointed about that, really. Yeah. Well, there we go. You lost 11 games. We didn't draw... So you must have lost against me. They just yeah. hasn't shown that at yeah. eleven. So I think we've won a game each so far against each other. But I get one point for finishing above you in the league and one point for beating you. Of course, you also have to look at that a second point, game uh, in that second game yeah. too. Neither of us have got top scorers or average rating. We've got Erdegaard down there in fourth, and I've got Brennan Johnson who's got six man of the matches. Vicario has got the third highest clean sheets. That's basically the only one for us to get into the top three there. Yeah. But okay, we're on Tottenham Hotspur. Let's have a look at other competitions. Did I manage to pick up a domestic trophy for the first time in Spurs' history, I think? Oh, no. Ooh. Runner-up in the FA Cup. Playing strikerless as well. Good. Good season really for you, I think. Yeah. Who beat me in the final? Oh, no. <laughs> It's already begun. The Cup King strikes. If it, if I'm any other team on the planet, I win that game. <laughs> yeah. It's because I've got a Tottenham shirt on. The curse <laughs> of Tottenham. They yeah. suck so bad. Oh, dear, oh dear. I bet I was dominating you in that. Uh, it, was, it was quite even, actually. <laughs> but you beat me with Kai Havertz, 92nd minute. Said he was a good son in yeah. the <laughs> Do you know who the man of the match was as well? Aaron who? Ramsdale. Was he? Oh, there we go. So that... <laughs> Is three points for winning it, a point for beating me, and of course a point for knocking me out. Yeah. Get it's five in. points straight away there. Let's have a look at the schedule then, because I had no other fixtures that will spoil anything. So I was already out of the Carabao Cup before knocking it. Ah, so I lost to you in the January. Ooh. So well, the earlier fixtures, when I beat you 1-0. James Madison. Yeah. But I lost right after that in the in the Carabao Cup like, on penalties. Yeah. So that's where I was eliminated. But considering my rough start in the league... A loss to Brighton there and a draw to Newcastle. The rest of it seems all right. Yeah. All the way up till Christmas, really. So the, the strikerless formation paid so off you had a, a good you had a good end of the season, which we could see as well. Yeah. We? Uh, 16 goals for Brennan Johnson is... This is the only trouble with the strikerless. Like, I'm don't, not going to have the players to uh, to score a lot of goals. I'm going to have to eventually buy a striker. Uh, Saar, though, 21 years of age. Look at that development already. He looks good, doesn't he? Already looks fantastic in yeah. that centre midfield spot and CDM. So that's that's great. Uh, Human Song's wanted, potentially. And he's unhappy that a transfer was blocked. Maybe I cash in the Human Song. Who knows? Well, was he out? 31? Yeah. For that type of money. Time to go. Uh, £55 million in the budget. But let's have a look at your competitions, Dad. We already know you've won the FA Cup. Oh, no. Oh, get in. Won the Carabao Shit. Cup as well. <laughs> Chelsea in that final. That's another three points. Yes. Add in the Carabao Cup. Celtic knocked you out of the Champions League, though. Yeah. Oh, just that, that humbled you a bit. Yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> Five minute one in the final against Inter Milan at Wembley Stadium. Oh. Would have been nice for you to win that yeah. at Wembley, yeah. considering it was the former home of Spurs while they were waiting for Is the Harry round. Kane there as well? He was in there as well. Yeah, he? he would have. Yeah, uh, so he's won a Champions League. Yeah. Good old Harry Kane. At Wembley doing it as well. Yeah. So. 20 goals from Erdegaard, 27 assists. It was definitely the right move. Yeah. Putting him in that centre attacking midfield role and nailing him in there as much as you possibly could. Because Smith Rowe still played 46 games. Yeah. It's not like you neglected him because of that. He still played a lot of games and still got goals and assists, but that's the right move, I think. Yeah, when you look at Jesus, when he caught 18. Yeah. So that, it was a good move putting him in there, definitely. Ah, yeah. uh, definitely. He's actually, I oh know he's not wanted, he's uh, international. But there we go. All right, your tracks budget for next season, Dad 116 million. Already the advantage there. Yeah. Of a lot of cash. Ooh. A lot of cash to go in. But you did win two cups. Yeah. So we'll have to round up the points and I'll already. Get Tim, and I'll get Timber back as well. Yeah. So that's like a new signing as well, isn't it? Let's round up the points and see what it is after season number one. The season points is as follows. Omega Luke with two. Omega Dad with nine. Dad, two absolute mental summers. Yep, definitely, yeah. You started off £80 million for Angisa, formerly of Fulham, of course. Yeah. 
Brought him in to strength from the midfielder. Centre midfield from Napoli. £18 million pounds yeah. spent. Uh, you also sold £50 million pounds worth of players, including Fabio Vieira for £32 million. We've got £10 million there for Nuno Tavares. La Conga going out for £6 million. And that allowed you to spend another £105 million first off as a backup goalkeeper. Obviously, player going back yeah. on loan. So you've brought in a backup goalkeeper. Samu Omarodion. Yeah, from another striker. Madrid. So just in case um, Jazuz gets injured, I've got another striker going in there. He scored 11 goals last season on loan at Alaves from Atletico Madrid. And then Gonzalo Inacio, a left-footed centre-back yeah. from Sporting. I mean, I'm not ex expecting him to get into the side because I have got really good defenders, but what a player to have as a, as a reserve, really. Yeah. So it's hard, really, because you've got to spend big money to replace anybody as a first team. first team. So I'm sort of bringing in, making the squad even stronger, I feel. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. With that sign-in, you still had to nail Martin yeah. Erdegaard. Yeah, And definitely. the reason for it is because when you do best 11, even with a ball-winning midfielder, <laughs> which should suggest that Anguissa goes in, for some reason he doesn't. No. Uh, and the best 11 pick still puts Smith Rowe in the number 10 and Erdegaard in the ball-winning midfielder yeah. role, which and is the, the reason the why the other interesting position that. as well is the um, right-back. Yeah. Even though I got Timber back, White still went in the first as in the first team. Yeah, but you've got him in an inverted fullback role, which I think definitely suits more White than yeah. it would Yuri and Timber. Uh, Saliba obviously being even better than that, but yeah. I think yeah, he, he's only a two star in that role, which would mean obviously White goes into that role first. And That's Timber, I guess, is more of a centre back backup option. Yeah, though. definitely. Yeah, I mean Saliba and, and Gabriel in my, my front, the two in the middle there. What a defence that is. But. As I say, I've also had a very busy summer. It has been massive. £146 million on the outs, including another £23 million there with Ben Davies and Brian Hill leaving. Let's have a look who left for what. Huming Son has gone. 32 years of age. He's gone to Saudi Arabia for £80 million. I think that's a good price for a 31 year old. I think I would have took that as well. Yeah. 26 million for Richarlison. I think they overpaid. Yep. Uh, <laughs> 20 million for Le Celso isn't too bad either. Regulon going for 8 million pounds. Joe Rodon going for 8 million pounds. A few others. I'm surprised well. you didn't get a lot of money for Eric Dyer. Yeah, I'm really shocked. I'm more surprised that Inter Milan <laughs> decided that Eric Dyer was a good signing. <laughs> And that counts as a foreign player to them as well. What yeah, a wasted yeah. position that oh is. Oh, my God. But the signings that I made and I brought in, I started off with Randall Colo Muani, £43 million, who I think is a great replacement for that Huming Son role who can play on the wings or up front. Likes beat the offside traps. So as a starting striker, he has the, the attributes that I like and he has a player trait that I love. He's actually started the season really well with five goals in four games as yeah, well. Yeah, started well, hasn't he? Yeah, after only getting 11 in 25. Of course, formerly a player of Iron Trip Frankfurt. And if you didn't know, get your bingo cards out ready. It's my former favorite club. Is. Yeah, former favorite club. It is my favorite club <laughs> yeah. in Germany. 200 million pound was spent elsewhere. Lucas Bergval for 8.5 million pound is an 18 year old center attacking midfielder that I've just brought in as kind of an option for the future. Just spending the money that we had there. But then that's when I started to sell loads of players and decided, okay, now I can actually splash it elsewhere. So I brought in Giorgio Scalvini for 54 million pound. Uh, he's going to be a cracking center back option for us with Romero and of course, Mickey van der Ven. We have Leonardo Cernico who plays naturally on both fullbacks. So I think that's a really good yeah. option for us. It's not amazing, but for £4.5 million, I couldn't ask for much more, really. Alejandro Garnacho, though, for £75 million. That's a good signing. There's the human song replacement. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So a youngster as well, only 20 years of age. So for the rest of this rebuild and going on, because... The rebuilds, the save game file is available on page.com forward slash Megaloot Gaming or the channel membership page, which of course you also get early access to videos. This video might have already been seen by people before you've even seen it. It might have come up already. Every single video I possibly can comes out early on the channel membership page because there's an easy button to allow us to do that. Not to mention as well, you might actually see a shop underneath where you can buy the VC t-shirts, the wrestling t-shirts. That's there as well. But yes, the save game file you can get after the five years if you want to take on this save or pinch a tactic or just see and laugh at omega dad be an arsenal manager you can do so page.com forward slash megaloot gaming or the channel membership page 
There we go. Alejandro Garnacho, 75 million. Two goals, two assists in four games so far. Good start. We continue, and the final signing is Ollie Watkins. Ooh. 60 million. I'd love this to happen in real life. A lot of money. Yeah, but he's a good striker, though, isn't he? But he is good, yeah. yeah. 59 million pound. Hasn't scored in three games just yet. They did get 16 goals last season and 15 the season before that. Of course, I have changed tactic, and I have gone on striker up front, and this is what we're looking at right now. Four. 3-3. Three, three. Very standard formation, but pick best 11. You can see Madison actually goes on that left-hand side instead of Garnacho, which does surprise me. I would prefer it if he came in or even come off the bench mm. and have Garnacho out there on that left-hand side and possibly have um, Rando Colo Muani pop in there maybe from time to time and put Ollie Watkins up there. But I don't want to nail anybody in because they're all really close. Whereas in your scenario, I get why you have nailed yeah. them in. I'm surprised with your 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 centre backs. Centre backs with Romero. Yeah. Scalvini coming straight in with Romero and putting Mickey Van der Ven down yeah. the bench. But That's again, they're all surprise. the three really close players. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I don't mind that too much. Let's have a look at my schedule first, shall we? Now we've played four games. We've won four, and we haven't conceded a single goal. And the game's been hard too. Oh, three odd games there. Yeah. Start the season. Stanford Bridge, first game of the season, 2 0 win. Manchester United, best team in the world, 3 0 against them. Aston Villa, I get that I just pinched their best player, <laughs> but 4 0 against them. And that was after I bought him. They could have, like, you know, replaced him by then. And 2 0 against Fulham, another London team. But we've got each other down in the Champions League this time round. Ooh. So there's an extra fixture we need to yeah. consider going in. So, as well as the two league games, we've got to consider that. Now, your fixture, let's have a look, looks like this. Fulham, 4-1. Man City, 2-1. That's a great win. Especially after I lost against them in the FA, in the, uh, camp, in the Community in the Shield. Field, yeah. 4-0 yeah. against Leeds, Ooh. but a 3 or draw against newly promoted Leicester. Yeah, they're always going to be there. They're a fighting side, aren't they, Leicester? So it's always yeah. going to be an odd game to go there. But um, the other results, I was really pleased with, especially the City game. Yeah, absolutely. Watch your predictions. Get them down in the comments section. A huge second season. Dance took the early advantage. It's time for a Spurs comeback, said nobody ever. Second season? No. Two points, get in. And also, you took it on the final day. I lost on the final oh. day of the season. If you'd won that game, you'd have had three points. You'd have won the league. That's if what you I didn't mean. Lose that game. That's what I mean. <laughs> the final day of the season was against you. No. <laughs> three two on the final day. You chucked the league away on the final day. That's so Spurs. That's such a Spurs move. Smith Rowe scored the goal. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe the that. The two players that I've been changing all around it is the two players that scores all three goals for me. What are the chances that we had to go to the Emirates on the final day? Unlucky, son. Unlucky. Well, <laughs> while we're here, we might as well also look at the other fixtures against each other. I beat you there, and we drew against each other Champions League, so no points there in the Champions League. I had a player League. sent off as well. I did. You mean? Oh. <laughs> this is Your confusing. Arsenal. This is confusing. <laughs> so, Daz, you gain four points for winning the Premier League. You also gain a point for beating me on the final day of the season, no yeah. less. But I also gain a point for beating you in the previous league fixture. We're on Tottenham. No other competitions won, which I didn't suspect because I didn't see a final there. But fifth oh, round did. against Chelsea, Man fourth City round against Ipswich, the Champions League. Champions League quarterfinals, where you are still in it Ooh, at that point. Yeah. So you have a semi final. How do you do in the semi final? You are knocked out. But. <gasps> in the treble a domestic treble you beat manchester city in the final 4-1 in the fa cup and the carabao cup crystal palace they're chucking anybody in, in the final sorry <laughs> palace fans oh i Ooh. can't believe that hey i've definitely turned into the cup king my son that's six points just out of those two cups so straight away you got four four points for winning the league five points for winning winning against me so that's five points in total plus six that's 11 points just off straight off the bat immediately whereas i basically got one point for beating you in one league for <laughs> Dad, let's have a look at your goal. So, 26 from Erdegaard and 35 assists. Phenomenal. Oh, That's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, he's outscoring your strikers, yeah. which is 
worrying in a way, but also So it's been a right hilarious. decision to lock him into that position, isn't it? Yeah. Really. Uh, your transfer budget for next season is only fifty-four million pound. My goals: Kolo Moani only got twenty-three. Garnacho got sixteen and ten. So it's good that Garnacho was playing. Kulazeski did quite well considering he's playing in a different role. But yeah. Ollie Watkins only playing nine starts and getting eight goals is worrying slightly for me. But my best player, by the looks of like my coach's rating of ability, is now Sar. Who surprised with that? By all means, looks incredible. Oh, he looks absolutely amazing, doesn't he? But so that ain't too bad. It's nice that he's come through as a youngster. I don't have to worry about that centre midfield spot too much. My trans budget, though, forty-eight million pound for the comeback next year. But yes, let's have a look at the points. I'm not going to enjoy this. Season points are as follows: Omega Luke with one, Omega Dad with Arsenal with eleven, which means the total points is Omega Luke with three. Omega Dad, again with Arsenal, 20. Now, I would show you what happens in the next season, but we came under a cyber attack and I lost everything because my PC got hacked. Thankfully, that never actually happened, and that's because I use NordVPN, and so should you. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to not only protect yourself, but gain all the benefits of a virtual VPN. I'm now connecting to America's servers, the United States, Boom, I'm in. Look how quick that was. I didn't even finish my sentence and already I'm connected to a server in the US. That was so easy my dad couldn't even get that wrong. Now, I have been using NordVPN ever since I actually did get my computer hacked and lost my YouTube channel. I've never made that mistake again. If you go to nordvpn.com forward slash Omega Luke, there is a fantastic offer, which means it's perfect for you to join right now and not make the same mistake as I did. Because with a two year plan for the price of of each month, which is less than a coffee if I'm honest, you get an extra four months for free. And it's risk free and money back guarantee over 30 days. Now us football manager players, we're on our computers a lot, right? So the virtual VPN is gonna be really good for us because once you've connected, there's so many other things that will help protect us. And we can see here from the web protection stuff and you can have a look at that. It's, it's already making uh, blocking threats out. It's got malware blocker, web tracker blocker, even got an ad blocker. Like, come on, this is already saving you so much time and hassle having to get rid of all those ads. But obviously, there's some other benefits that we will really enjoy and make the use out of. 3 p.m. kickoffs, for example. Or I'm going on holiday soon, and when I go to Spain, there might not be stuff on the Netflix that I like to watch. However, using VPN, I can go, oh, it's not on it anymore. I'm halfway through Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm connected back to London. Bang, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is back. So yes, once again, use nordvpn.com forward slash Omega Luke. There's gonna be a link in the top description and in the pinned comments, use that link. Go and get yourself NordVPN and you start using a virtual private network for your protection and for all the other benefits that you might enjoy. And with that offer that's on right now, an extra four months on top of a two year plan with a risk free money back guarantee. Where's the downside? There isn't one. Go and check it out right now. Dad, I'm starting to understand why you're always so miserable now being a Spurs fan. <laughs> this absolutely sucks. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a look at your transfers for season number three. You sold £176 million pounds worth yep. of players. It's players I want to use really. I mean, Timber couldn't get him, even get into my side, really. Yeah, so. so he's gone for 40. Yeah. Two players have gone to Atletico Madrid, Zinchenko and Kai Havertz. Yeah. So that's quite a cheap cost for Kai Havertz. Considering it it is, double. really. Yeah, I mean, he is a good player, but... Um, no, I just wanted to get rid of them, ones I weren't using, really. Thomas Partey's gone to Saudi, and Eddie Nketiah has stayed in the Premier League with West Ham. That is a high price for Eddie Nketiah. Definitely. Uh, but I guess he gets the English tax. He didn't really play much at all in the last couple of years. However, just the two coming in. Yeah. And I feel like you're finally starting to learn when everybody goes, <laughs> Dad, stop signing so many squad players. Use the amount of money to sign first-teamers instead. This is what, what done. you've done. Yeah. Alfonso Davies being the first at left back. So there's there's a first team player yeah. in my left back position. Yeah. Better than Zinchenko, comes straight into the lineup and yeah. it's going to improve your side. Then Vitinha, the second season in a row, you've attempted it, it to buy a second a mid. But it, it's that's some two midfielders I've bought in now. Two really good, strong midfielders. It could be in the first team for most teams in the Premier League. So I've got two really good, strong reserves for the two my, what I, I class is the midfield is the art of the engine really you need good players in there so if everyone one of them gets injured I've got 
two other good players to come in. So yeah. I feel that I've, I've strengthened the squad wisely. And like you say, there's two good players I've bought. Absolutely. And tactically, you've kept exactly what you were would, last why season. Why would I change it? But you've nailed in two players yes. instead of one. Yeah. Samuel Morodion nailed in up front. I definitely wanted this guy to be my striker this time. Give him more game time than yeah. Gabby Jesus. Because, yeah. I mean, let's be fair. Good striker, Gabby Jesus. But he's never been the ultimate goal scorer no even his time at man city he was no. never looked upon as that and last season well, the last two seasons two three seasons in goals. a row he scored 11 goals look yeah, so that's not just great not, is it just not enough for me for for an out and out striker no it's got to be well into the 20s samuel marodion hasn't scored one yet though no i will say that but he did get five last season with only six starts so we'll see i guess whether it was the right decision erdegaard who is your top scorer of the last two years that's why i gotta keep locking him in <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he started the season well he's got a goal and assist and a player of the match but there we go so the rest of the team if we did pick without restrictions best 11 you can see obviously that's the Lose reason why again. those two are nailed and in. smith rogue was right in that position again so. yeah so it's weird how smith rogue goes in instead of fatinia yeah uh or angisa who's actually dropped off a little bit because maybe not a lot of game time but there we go however i have actually only brought in one big player now i did sell a couple of others oliver skip lowen for 14.25 million pound and there was also luka vuskovic who was already a transfer that was done before i had joined but my one big sign-in was warren zaire emery a center midfielder for a hundred million he's 19 look how bloody good he is he is good in the year world class five out of five stars 100 million from psg last season he played 27 games for psg at age 18 so he must be good wow and he had nine assists as well yeah he's probably their best player by the looks of their average rating and he continued that when you watch him though he is a good player in real life as well yeah he? three appearances two goals one assist i'm loving it yeah i'm at what are you doing here son uh he is five star in almost come to the best team in the world no he's that's a Spurs shirt. <laughs> Grandad needs to put his glasses on, I think. <laughs> Warren Zayemery. Now, tactically, I'm keeping exactly how we were last season. We were very unlucky. We were one game away from winning the Premier League. And unfortunately, it was against Tad. But I think we've improved the team enough just from that one signing. We only have one real weakness. And that was in that centre midfield spot. Colin Mouani, I, I'm... Sure, could score more goals this year with more game time. He has the attributes to do so. But now we've got Saar, Zaire Emery, and Basuma in centre mid with Madison as a backup, Ben Tanker as a backup. This team is looking really good already. Yeah. And they play for Spurs. I mean, I've had to buy a Manchester United player, a couple of PSG ones, you know, just to make it look okay. But there we go. Schedule. Let's have a look. Now, I lost to Dad on the opening day of the Community Shield on penalties. It was an even game until then. Yeah. Uh, but then I beat Brighton, Ipswich, and Everton 3 0. All you, three of them. And then you got me again. And we got each other again <laughs> right after. Hilarious. I've also got Argyle in the in the EFL, EFL Cup. Cup third round. Um, you're out of that cup, then, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, apparently they can't even sell out, even though it's Spurs. <laughs> they were like, oh, we'd love a Premier League team at home. And they get pre and they, oh, it's why can't we have had a good one? Like, not on Forest or something. That's what they said. Behave yourself. I heard yeah. it. I heard Behave it. yourself. Yeah. But there we go. Now, my Champions League fixtures, we didn't look at that last season, but let's have a look at it. We were two in awe of the fact that we had to play against each other. Yeah. Leipzig, Villa. I've got to play another uh, English side there. Shakhtar, Inter, Zagreb, Rapid Vienna, Feyenoord, and PSG. Gee. Three of their players are no longer there no. because I stole their striker <laughs> and a midfielder, and you got the other midfielder. So... I mean, they probably, we know what PSG's like. They probably bought in some unbelievable players as well. £112 million pound that they spent just off this season. 154 the season before that and 68 the season before that. So they are obviously spending money, but there we go. Dad, your schedule is looking like this. Of course, you beat me on penalties, but then it was a Manchester City 1-0 win. win Bakaya Saka penalty. A Norwich 2-0 home win and a one or draw at Anfield. I'll take that. You've had the two hardest games yeah. already at the start of the season, so that's not bad at all. Then you have Spurs, so nice piss easy one really <laughs> champions league slavia prague roma porto rapid vn milan both milans Ooh. psv and young boys i should qualify for that should yeah I? you've got an easy yeah. I'll champions take league league phase there Last this two games new I should format be winning. and they're all like we want all the best teams to play more against each other really because <laughs> this is the outcome yeah great we'll get to see the Arsenal thing is that they, they are plans, the best teams but... in their countries though wouldn't they really yeah i know but they they made it out like oh because of the super league we need to change yeah. the format so that we have more dream matches yeah. all the time and it's like you've given too many spots then hmm. uh, and it's no longer 
that because now it's really easy to get into the Champions League. I mean, you can finish fifth in the Premier League, and get in the into Champions, the Champions League. league. Yeah. Like, why well, call it the Champions League? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, that used to be literally just you know the person who won the league. Yeah, I understand making it a bit bigger for everybody else, and you know, I think the format that they got right now has definitely benefited from that. And I actually think the format right now, I wouldn't change it. I actually no. really like the Champions yeah, League. I, the only thing I, like I would, I would actually change is add the away goals back in. Yeah, I have no no idea why they ever changed that rule. No, it was good because go. it made made it interesting, didn't it? That, well, that, yeah, that second now, game. You know that the last round of Champions League fixtures, the away goals meant nothing going yeah. into the second leg. So, oh well. Okay, so we digressed, but now we're back on track. Third season, Dada took a huge advantage going into season number three. It's time to claw some points back. See what happens. Get in. <laughs> A hundred and three points as well. You were top of the league the whole season, mate. Whoa. Only lost one game. Only brought in one player. <laughs> All I needed was the young French well, midfielder. Ollie Watkins, top goal scorer. Yeah, that is surprising. I am very shocked at that. 19 in the Premier League as well. Ollie Watkins, yes, please. So close to an invincible season. Yeah. Which would have been amazing to do, <laughs> considering your <laughs> arse, though. <laughs> That is hilarious. Who Lost beat you? one game, West Ham West away. Ham, I was hoping that was going to be me. That's karma yeah. for uh, last week when we were slagging West Ham off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They already hated it in the comments. Yeah, they did, yeah. And now they're like, ah. <laughs> because they have also qualified for the Champions League, which means they must have won the Europa League. Yeah. Or the Champions League. Or the Champions League. They might have done, might have done <laughs> that. Uh, but there we go. Winner of the Premier League. 103 points. Dad, you lost six. Both of them was against Spurs. <sighs> Two yes. nils. So I get four points for winning the league, another two points for beating Dan, which means that six points straight off the bat. But did I add anything else? No. Ooh. I did not. Semi final of the Carabao Cup to Liverpool. Third round by Blackpool. Blackpool. And if you think all the teams I beat here, Blackpool knocked me out of the FA Cup from <laughs> Sky Bet League One. <laughs> it is mental, isn't it? The magic of the FA Cup. And semi final against PSG. <laughs> Have to buy all their players. <laughs> well, oh, I mean, you can very good, you? Let's dive into the Premier in, into that Champions League. They actually went on and won it, so Ooh. you haven't won it. No, I qualified in the top eight. You qualified tenth. You lost one, which against PSV. I drawn three God, them. That cost you got in the top oh, eight. Oh yeah, drew three to young. Your boys, what, you, what was happening so at my, the end of the two last games of the season of the Champions League were easy games. Yeah, I? drew one and lost one. You beat AC Milan. I lost one to PSG so yeah and then you lost to PSG in the uh, knockout race in the knockouts final Inter and Leipzig but I beat Rapid Zagreb Shakhtar and I demolished little old Aston Villa <laughs> I'm making so many enemies lately <laughs> yeah. it's just jokes please just take it as jokes all your keyboard warriors here. I have one that you turned off, like, because I called a, a team from Estonia a crap team in Estonia. And they were like, turned off as soon as you said that. <laughs> I'm like, come on. All right, okay. So I've got some points there. Yeah. Claw back some points. So on the, you're on the, on the way back again. However, we haven't seen how you've done in the cups, and we don't know the winner of the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. You might have picked one up. No. Knocked out the semi final of the FA Cup by Chelsea. Quarter final by Tottenham Hotspur, and that means that's an extra two points. Five nil! <laughs> Five nil. Five! <laughs> so I didn't score against you at all this season because you beat me two nil both league games. Yeah, that is complete annihilation. Wow. That is bad, isn't it? What a season for Tottenham Hotspur. This is the best. I'm a legend of the club. <laughs> They're building a statue of me already. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because there's no other legends that they could build a statue for. So there we go. Goals wise, 25 was Ollie Watkins, 18 was Colo Muani, 17 for Garnacho. So that's fantastic. My budget for next. Oh, come on. Back me a bit here. I've just won the league for you, Daniel Levy, you tight. He is. He yeah. Is. <laughs> Dad, yours. 31 for Samuel Marodion. Locking him in. Yep, yeah, good. Uh, 19 for Bagayo Saka and 14. It's a little bit of a drop off, but it's still a good he's, season. Yeah, he's still got 19 assists, though. Yeah. So. Where he's, he's assisting now, and you've got Omaroid scoring the goals, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, and he's played 61 games, yeah. which, by the looks of Ramsdale's games, is he's probably he's played every, every game. game. Yeah. So, didn't miss a single game this season, did Martin Erdegaard. So, what a player. But your trans budget is £90 million. We know where the money is in North London, don't we? Yeah, do, yeah. 
All right, let's have a look at the points after season number three, because the comeback is well and truly on. That's right, the season points is as follows. Omega Luke with eight. Omega Dad with one, which means the total points now is Omega Luke with 11. Omega Dad with 21. Well, how did Dad react to Spurs finally winning the league? He sold his second best yep. defender to Liverpool, a rival club for £35 million at his prime. <laughs> I felt like I can get better, so I just decided to say goodbye. Uh, no, I you thought did. he's three and a half star, and I just thought he was not good enough for my defence now. In replacement, you brought in Yurel Hattel yeah. from Ajax. I think this is a better replacement. This is a beat, and he's only 20 as well. So. Yeah. Buying for the future for Arsenal. Yeah, for you Patreon members yeah. who are taking over. Yeah, £95 million is a lot of money. Yeah, but it is, but I think very good. that's the price you've got to pay to, to be replacing players like Gabriel. Yeah. Selling £150 million worth of players, including Gabby Jesus, for yeah. £62 million. We and talked Gisela about it last season that we not scored enough goals. So. Yeah, and you replaced him with Victor Osserman. There's my guy. That's the guy that's going to do it for me. Finishing of 18, though. He is very good. He's yep. got three and four for you so far, but he only started. got 11 last season, which is rather terrible, if yeah. I'm honest. Yeah. But we'll see. Uh, and then Emmy Martinez coming back to yeah. Arsenal, of there's, course. There's he comes reserve. through the youth academy. Oh, no, I he was, did come youth academy, but... I was surprised that he'd been there as a youth, though. So yeah. um, when you pointed that out to me, I was quite surprised so at that. So many loan deals. Yeah. Like, like, how many loan deals? And then eventually, of course... How many when he comes in as my reserve keeper, I feel? But what a good reserve keeper I've got. Yeah, played one game, conceded four. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look good when you see it that no, way. Don't uh, tactically, sticking the same. Yes. But you're not locking in Erdegaard anymore. No. Nope. Just allowing Smith Rowe to come in. Because yep, he has developed really well, yep, if I'm I'll, honest. I'll have to give the boy a chance, see what happens. Yeah. But that's your team looking like you got Osman up front there. You've got White still in the side. Hatto yep. and Davies at the back now on that left hand side. Looks really good. Uh, and some good options off the bench as well. However, after winning the league, I still had a massive summer. So, Brennan Johnson. £46 million. Pound. I also sold another £149 million pounds worth of players, including James Madison to Saudi Arabia and Vicario to Newcastle for £63 million. Pound. Money for a keeper, isn't it? Huge, yeah. Especially considering for an extra, what, 30 or £10 million, I brought in Gre Gregor Cobell, who is a better goalkeeper from Borussia Dortmund. So I'm happy with that one. Definitely, that's an upgrade in my eyes. I've also brought in Mark Gehi, who is a free transfer from Crystal Palace. So that's an extra defender to bring into the, to the lineup. James Trafford as a backup option in goal and not a bad one to be fair no he's a good keeper million. yeah good young lad coop miners though Ooh, this is for a good 70 million pound another yeah. certain midfielder my midfield is the best in the world easily now coop miners comes in plays in loads of different roles and positions and then finally the cherry on the cake 100 million a 100 million pound spent on endrick bringing him in he asked what is a spurs but I said, they live, they're from London. He goes, I've heard of that. It's a team from London. He goes, are they newly promoted? I was like, no. Been around for ages, Hendrik. We like our Brazilians. We do. Tactically then, let's have a look. Kept it the same. Hendrik goes up front though. Colin Moani drops to the left. That midfield has Coop Miners, Warren, Zaya, Emery and Saar in there now with Basuma and Ben Tanker coming off the bench. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ollie Watkins is a bench option as well as Garnacho. Poro's still there. Udogi's still there. Romero and Scalvini keep their positions even though Mark has joined the team. Good side. This is a good team. Yeah. This is a good team. Schedule. Let's have a look. I've lost the Community Shield to Chelsea on penalties. That seems to be the thing that keeps happening to me. I keep Spurs and it up uh 96th minute as well they conceded which isn't great but i did beat crystal palace after stealing their best player 5 nil. i then lost to wolves 1 nil, thanks to a penalty 3 nil against Dortmund forest 3-1 against middlesbrough and i've knocked preston out of the cup but once again dad we're facing each other in champions league yeah i don't like it no but that's the way this new formula is going, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't like playing the same teams in the same countries. So but there we not go. Not early on, anyway. Now let's have a look at your schedule. Man City, 4 0 yeah. at the Emirates at the start of the that season. That was a bad start, wasn't it? Because oh. I've been usually beating them in the league, you know, at yeah. the start of the season. So, yeah. 4 2 against Norwich to recover. 1 0 against West Ham. Brighton, 4 1. And Sheffield Just United. Straight through the cup. On penalties, 92nd minute equaliser. I mean, really, well. City's the only big game I've played, really. I mean, no, no, nothing against the, the other teams that I've played against, but as a tester, I feel. Yeah. Uh, you've got Barcelona, Juve, Atletico Madrid, Leipzig, some tricky games yeah, in that Champions yeah. League as well as Tottenham. But let's have a look to see who I've also got in those Champions League fixtures. I've got AEK, Rennes, 
<laughs> they always come up, don't they? <laughs> The team I hate the most in France. Yeah. And somebody asked me, he was like, why do you hate Rens? <laughs> and it's literally because they were really good in a former youth to gold save back in FM20. I was like, going to say, it was a few years ago as well, life. wasn't it? Yeah. So I wasn't even involved then. No, I, so. no. Nothing against them in real life. It's just a joke again at the end of the day, but still. <laughs> <laughs> On Rens. Final in Salzburg. Shaq de Benfica and Atletico Madrid in that final game. But okay. Fourth season we're going into now. The points... You're still taking a big advantage because of those cup wins early on. Yeah. But I have won the Premier League for the first time. I've just yeah. signed Endrick. I've just, I've of just all had a bad season as well, so I've got to bounce back. Let's capitalize on your failures. Let's see what happens in this fourth year. Fourth season and Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> That's right. Tottenham back-to-back -back Premier League winners. 95 points as well. Dropped all the way down to third there, Dad. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Unlucky. You only lost three games this time. I did. That's only One of them was against seasons. you, unfortunately. So there's three another nil. point that you got there. But there's another four points that I have gained. Now, you lost nine and one of them was against Spurs. That's yeah. another point straight away. So that's five points to me early on. Goals-wise, we're not really getting the top scorers of the league here. No. Which is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Colin Moani's got 20. Kuliszewski had the second highest average rating. Saka and Kuliszewski had a good amount of player of the matches there. Cabal had the highest amount of clean sheets alongside Edison. Ramsdale had five less, but was joint third. Yeah, it's my goal bad. difference is still low as well when it compared to yours. Yeah, 64 goal difference for me compared to your 38. That could be the talent of the, well, of the league you're, anyway. You're, yeah, you're scoring goals and winning the league, so yeah, that tells me something, doesn't it? And again, I salvaged it and stayed up there for a while. Where yeah. You kind of recovered and just made sure you stayed in the top four. Was it Chelsea who had... Who the hell was top of the league for a while? It was Man City then. Man City who, who dropped off uh, and dropped down into fourth place there. Man United down in 13th. Ooh, awful for them. How about the other competitions? I kind of need a couple too, really. Let's have a look, see what happened. <gasps> oh, Christ, you nearly won everything. I mean, Champions League winner. First one for us to do that. Champions won. League straight away is won seven the points. Won the Champions League. Ooh. Against PSG as well. After <laughs> stealing all their bloody players. Oh, money, you, so could, close. You, you nearly walked away with it, didn't you? Yeah, that would have been huge. That's six points I've lost there, unfortunately. Ooh. But seven points I've gained thanks to winning the Champions League. But... You, you could still have won it. So, I won both of them, would I? let's have a look. Competitions. Omega Dad at Arsenal. Oh, get this. Boof! <laughs> Cup King, eh? Penalties in the Carabao Cup. Ooh. So you gain three points for winning and then obviously point for knocking me out and point for actually winning the fixture, which is five points. But you also get in this in a 2-1 win, an 87. Oh, I went down. Kulazaski's cost me big yeah, time there. definitely, yeah. Kulazaski is, is the reason for Two that. Two of my signings there, look. It's yeah. the goals as well. I also had Pedro Parole sent off. How did you only beat nine men? 2-1. <laughs> <Yeah. two>, <laughs> and you had more possession than me as well. <laughs> yeah. Six points plus four points for knocking me out in both competitions. Of course, there were other fixtures. Just dragged it back, Gary, didn't I? Just dragged it back. I don't think any one of us has ever done that. Won everything, have we? No. So that final game of the season there. Uh, 2 1 against me in the FA Cup final. In the league, that's you went on a good run there because you actually beat me in the Premier League two games after as well. Yeah. But how do we get on in the earlier games? So you lost against me in the Premier League, which we've already seen, and you beat me in the Champions League 3 0. So there's another point that you've got there, which is a massive, massive season for you. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at that Champions League. That was the only game I lost. Yeah. It was against you. You lost two, which was against Leipzig and, and you Barcelona. Look at that, like, top them uh, PSG top two yeah and that's two that got to the final yeah uh i drew to rens <laughs> uh -oh. that cost you being the top of the league isn't yeah. it <laughs> sometimes football manager writes itself yeah uh you drew to final or three or you don't have a grudge against final no you? i haven't no nice they're, guys they're, 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 like, yeah like final. They're love good. a bit of rotterdam yeah. yeah i won six games i beat some of the, the most difficult teams and I, some of the goals I scored as well. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. You won five as well, including obviously the game I against... I scored a lot of goals as well. Six new against Atletico Madrid. Yeah. Okay, so round the, the knockout playoff round, neither of us were in it. The round of 16, I knocked out Bayern Munich, Ooh. which... He's still there. Still there. Yeah, he's still there. So's Klopp. Bloody hell. You knocked out Real Madrid. Oh, what a result that was. Yeah, with... Arbeloa. 
as their manager. Oh, there's a big surprise, isn't it? For the last two seasons. Our belower. <laughs> the Liverpool fullback. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah. Uh, this is where you were knocked out oh, by PSG, PSG Dad. PSG, fancy that. Uh, I knocked out Portal. Could have been Portal. playing Unifine. I don't know, wouldn't it? Uh, who's manager of PSG? Somebody crap like Pascal Chimbond or something? Pep. Oh, that was a good guess. Good call, yeah. <laughs> semi-final, I knocked out Stuttgart. I had an easy in, in, the, in yeah. the semi there. And Chelsea uh, was knocked out by PSG. But Okay, goals in Arsenal. Colours. Victor Osman, 31. The Kyle Saka, 23 and 21. Yeah, that's that's huge. Erdegaard still got 19 assists, which is massive as well. Yep. Uh, and your transfer budget for next season is £74 million going into that final year. Uh, Squad-wise, 34 goals for Mwani. It's a nice amount. I was expecting more from Endrick, though. Garnacho got 20 and 13. That's the highlight of the season for me, I guess. Uh, Zaire Emery dropped off completely from last season. But I wonder whether it's because Koopmine has played more in that centre midfield. No. I thought you'd have played that centre yeah. midfield on attack role a lot more, but there we go. It's changed. Trans budget for next season? 30, 36. Come on. I just won the Champions League. I expected that to be 100 million then. Yeah. I honestly did. You won the Champions League. You won the Premier League. That's disgusting. You got to the two finals. I played in every game I possibly could this season. Yeah. So you, you'd, you'd have got the most money for anything, really. Spurs being Spurs. Hey. Daniel Levy being Daniel Levy. That yeah, is. that is right. Fifth and final season is coming up. But first, let's take a look at the points. Okay, so the season points is as follows. Omega Luke with 12. Omega Dad with 11. Meaning the total points is Omega Luke with 23. Omega Dad with 32. Now, we're going to start on Spurs' transfers. Because the Arsenal one may shock you. And you will probably have to pick your jaw off the floor when you see it. I have sold... My top scorer from last season, Colo Muani, is £64 million, as well as Ollie Watkins, Ooh. who is now 31, yeah. £28 million. But I have brought in a replacement. Originally, I do some Vlahovic lined up, and he rejected the contract and signed a new deal for yeah. Juventus. So instead, I got Lois Appender for £79 million. Now, I don't think he will start ahead of Endrick, but it's a very good option to come off the bench yeah, right definitely, now. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Then I have also bought... Jonathan Roll from Liverpool, who is naturally can play from both wings, English as well, so he, he fits the homegrown quota. And then Hartman from Feyenoord, who Dad doesn't have any problems with. We've already established that. <laughs> no problems with Feyenoord, like I do with Rens. <laughs> But anyway, Hartman joins the club. 25 years old. He's just a backup left back for now. Tactically, sticking with the 4 3 3. I was very unlucky. I played every single game last season. Yeah. It's just a, the matter of the cups, the bad luck in the cups. This team could do anything. Champions League winners, of course. Do you know the biggest surprise me is the players that are still there from the start of the season? I know. I still have Spurs players. Yeah. I Mental. Mean, Saar, I think, is, is a, a big surprise for me. Yeah. Um, Romero, I thought I thought you'd have needed a better centre back, but he's so good, isn't he? Yeah, Poro and Udogi both yeah. there, and Kulusevski. Kulusevski, I, I I'd have probably got rid of him. Only be, and I, oh, and def a, when if you, you had done the yeah. Spurs side, we wouldn't recognise one player here. Yeah. I'd have probably got rid of him because it, I'd look at him and I think of him in real life. He's not a right side of player for me. He just he irritates me when he plays on the right. I prefer when he plays on the left. Right, when he, cuts when he in. and yeah, because he cuts in and on, and he he's no good on his right, so he's never going to take you on. Yeah, yeah. He'll always so he's very cut predictable. In. Yeah, and that, that. that's what winds me up sometimes. Yeah, that's Anthony as well at Man United. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. Same. yeah, you just it's know like, where to oh, play. Oh, let's him. show him down the wing, <laughs> yeah. and he's bound to go down there, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. uh, but there we go. Okay, now are you ready? I mean, it's a great side. Yeah, put your popcorn down. Here we Prepare go. yourself. For the most outrageous transfer you've ever seen in <laughs> versus rebuild history. Because Omega Dad has signed Harry Kane for Arsenal. What can I say? If you want the best rig in the world, I go and get Harry Kane. Mate, I just I just give him a ring and said, Harry, it's Omega Dad here. Come and play for me at Arsenal. Boss, I can't. You can. Would we'll do a job. He said, I've always hated Spurs. <laughs> Technically, he was an Arsenal fan growing up. Yes. Let's not forget that. Yes. There's so, pictures there's, see, proof. There's, I've, I've done him a favour, Rudy. I've brought him back to where he really wanted to be. All of those years. Yeah. Coming through the youth academy at Spurs. Yeah. Moved to Bayern Munich. And, by the way, some awful seasons compared to real life. Yeah. £97 million brought Harry Kane to Arsenal. And it is meant for a change of tactic too. That's why I brought him in, really. I mean, his finish is 19. Yeah. So the change of tactic is going to a 4 triple 2 Yeah. Moving that 
shadow striker or attacking midfielder role up into the DLF role. Yeah. I mean, as, as we looked at the last two seasons, I didn't score enough goals. Yes. Even though you won quite a lot of competitions, yeah. it's a risky change in some ways. It is, yeah. Um, but then it's only one. I'm only really moving one player. Yeah, everything else basically stayed the yeah, same. Yeah, stayed the same, yeah. And very similar to what it has been throughout all of your five years. If you look, we yeah. saved the same tactic because we know people on the Patreon or the channel members might want to use the 4 2 3 one that Dad created. And to be fair, you could do that because Harry Kane's very good in that oh, shadow yeah. striker. He role. could play in that role as well, but no, I've got him in for scoring goals. But he's gone he's to He's 19 DLF. finisher, so he'll do the job for me. All right. Schedule wise, then, let's have a look. Has he done, he's done anything yet? He has scored some goals. We yeah. can see there he has got a couple of goals. You also lost against me in the Community Shield, which is straight away a point. Harry Kane's first game was a loss to Spurs. <laughs> At Wembley. At Wembley, <laughs> you believe might that? I add. <laughs> uh, where he definitely played, I think. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 6.5 yeah. rating. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> uh, and then Endrick went over and he went, do you want to swap shirts? And Endrick <laughs> was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Everton 4-0 though. It started off well in yeah. the actual Premier League. A 3-1 against Aston Villa where Harry Kane finally scored. Yeah. Uh, Brighton 3-0. Two all against Leeds. Harry Kane got a goal in that one. And Aston Villa in the cup. You beat them 5-2, knocking them out. Yeah. Disappointed with the Leeds game, but they all... Champions League bad fixtures. Start. Got a oh, difficult PSG, one. PSG, yeah. Barcelona. PSG Ooh. and Barcelona That's in really there. it, though. When I mean, you say it's yeah, a difficult one. That, yeah, yeah I, I, I qualify for that, I think. Yeah, yeah. Go in the top me. eight, I yeah. think, as well. Because that the rest of them should be six wins. Yeah, definitely. Really. Yeah. Tottenham, again, same tactic. With only one player joining me. Schedule. The win against Arsenal. But then it was a draw against Liverpool, which isn't too bad. No, you're honest. at Anfield. They've yeah. done quite well as well yeah. in uh, the time that we've seen it. And they got Simone Inzaghi as their as their manager, which is which is decent. Three 0 against Nice in the Super Cup, which is great. Man City, a win against them is huge. Ninety first minute, Kulusevski played him on the right, and he done that. So, <laughs> what does that now really? In it? No, yeah. Tell me about it. West Ham, six one revenge from previous yeah i guess uh everton though they beat me 4-2 at their new stadium and then i knocked manchester city out of the efl cup 5-3 good result as well lovely stuff yeah. yeah thomas tuchel was their manager as well so done very well there my champions league fixtures i know full well i'm gonna lose against celtic <laughs> like that is a gimme i've also got man city and i'm playing man city so many times yeah it's ridiculous i'm now playing a harry kingless by munich and i've got nice again atalanta Feyenoord, who dad has no hatred against whatsoever. Let's make that clear. Ajax and Red Star or Kravena Zvezda. You should, you should go for it. Yes, absolutely. But to win the versus rebuild, you're going to win am, the Champions League again, definitely. Yeah, I'm nine points behind you. Yeah. So I really need a huge season where really I can't afford you to win anything. No. Or just one cup, but I dominate the rest. I need to be, have a. Well, you need the same season. season as you did last season, but without me winning the two cups. Yeah. So. For the fifth and final season, let's see what happens. And let's see how Harry Kane does in an Arsenal oh, shirt. On. Fifth season. <laughs> yes. Final day again, you've robbed me. I know I've lost on the final day. I really hope that's not against you. Can't be, and not again. Uh, because, I mean, on the past positions, I was top. Final day of the season, I beat Man United 3 0. Final day of this, 1 0 against Arsenal. <laughs> How has that happened twice in one video? I mean, we were chopping and changing for yeah. the whole season. You just ended up on top. The season ended too soon for me or too too late. <laughs> I don't believe that. That's oh, twice that's happened. In. So you win four points for winning the league. You also get a point for obviously beating me in that. You lost six. The other game you did lose against Ooh. me. So there's a point for me straight away yeah. there. But I can't believe that. You need to win the Cups now, mate. You need to win the I Cups do. now. I mean, Victor Osman and Martinelli are the top scorers, look. Yeah. So in a way, you kind of deserved it in that regard because I didn't even have anybody in the top five. Team-wise, just did very well. Because your goal difference, still not higher than mine. Makes no, still sense. No. I've got no goal scorers there. <laughs> Who's scoring these goals? Like, <laughs> well, unbelievable amount of own goals. What also is quite hilarious is Aston Villa next season is playing the Champions League yeah. in the Championship. <laughs> So they must have won the Europa Cup. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is mental. How many like English clubs are playing in Europe next year? Ridiculous. West Ham really. again. West Ham done well again. They won yeah. something again. Competitions for Tottenham Hotspur. Runners up of the FA Cup. 
Carabao Cup knocked out by Arsenal. Oh, oh get it. And the FA Cup was won by Arsenal. Oh. <laughs> so that that would have been the last game of the season, the, the FA Cup final, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I beat you the last league game of the season to win the league. 1 <laughs> 0 on the final day, Victor Osman goal to win the Premier League. 2 1. Harry Kane scored! Harry Kane scored a penalty. <laughs> Wembley to win the FA Cup final. Wow. So it brings him to Warsaw, he wins the FA Cup final against Spurs. And then the last game of the season, he wins the league against Spurs. <laughs> I'm looking at it as well. There's some what a fixtures boy. that I have completely ruined myself for the Premier League. Like lost, losing to Wolves yeah. there. I know they didn't do very well because they did have Europe in ninth. These are the fixtures that have cost me ultimately. Oh, yeah, definitely. It didn't, because it didn't the, the last one, game of the season. No, they, they can go either way, yeah. can they? But, oh, that's horrendous. Did you win the Champions League? We still don't know the winner of the Champions no, League yet. Maybe you've even won the Carabao Cup. Oh! <laughs> it was the other way round to how I did it. God almighty. It was the other way round. Carabao oh. Cup where you knocked me out, which means obviously you got another two points for that. Uh, you beat Everton in the final 2-1. Who beat me in the final? But the Champions, Champions League. League. Oh, PSG, PSG again. I was praying it was final. <laughs> yeah. That'd have been so funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, I'd have hated have them there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that is, I, I knew oh. it wouldn't have been because I think I knocked them out. Yeah. I seen uh, they're in the uh, round of 16. I think I knocked final out. I did, look. Yeah. 4-1. And again, Dad has nothing against them. Uh, <laughs> but there we go. So, I mean, you knocked out Dortmund 8-2. So you beat them 6-0 in the first first round. League phase. Only just qualified in the top eight as well. Yeah. Then. I lost to Man City in the, one of the 18 games I played against them. Because <laughs> I also, I don't know if you've seen, I faced them in the semi final yeah, of the FA did, yeah. Cup. Yeah. You lost two against Copenhagen and PSG 5 0. They stuffed me in, the, in that and then also yeah. beat in the final. Now you beat Barcelona 5 0, though. Yeah. Which isn't bad. Uh, I'd be by Munich 5 0. Final again 2 0. Yeah. I like final. Yeah. <laughs> Huge fans. <laughs> I mean, I guess now, I mean, let's have a look at my uh, goal scorers. That's that's what's cost me there. Endrick did not score enough goals. No. 22 from Lois Appenda, 15 from Garnacho, Coop Miners, 14 and 14. I always thought Endrick was one that would score loads. I mean, his attributes just look phenomenal, and I just don't understand why he isn't scoring that many, because how many times he plays up front? Maybe it's the tactic, I guess. The tactic might not gain enough goals from strikers. No. Possibly. That might be uh, the reason why, but there we go. Patreon members or channel members, 52 million pound of takeover spurs dad's arsenal i'm curious how, how many goals harry kane scored <laughs> where is he he only scored three oh <gasps> he only scored he only played 13 games three one of them was the fa cup final yeah three goals one also the, FA cup final. the other two we've seen yeah so he didn't score until the fa cup no oh, seven, seven months, months he was out against psg They've on the 7th on of september just after we left there yeah so we probably returned, played a couple of games. Played in the final. Played in the final. So he, he, would, have, he would have probably played in the Champions League final because that's at the end, of the, after the FA Cup final. Yeah. Against PSG. Trying to get his revenge and yeah. lost. He absolutely spurs well, he it, come, didn't he? he come back and done a job, me. I've given him the, I've given him the, the, uh, the Premier Still League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup. See, stick with me, Harry, you win things. Well, he was out for another four weeks in April. So he probably returned... And then got injured straight away. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't done too bad. No. So he, he will still be a good player next season. Yeah. But it's cost a couple of physicals a yeah. little bit, unfortunately. Well, his natural fitness is still 16. So yeah. And his finishing is still 19. So you still got a good player. But I'm. What could have been? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. he still managed to smash this season. Yeah. But if only if he, had he been stayed fit, fit. With him up front, it would have been a better season, I think. I think we'd have won the Champions League. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the points. For the final time. So the season points is as follows. Omega Luke with 2. Omega Dad with 15. Meaning the total points for season number 5. Is Omega Luke with 25. Omega Dad with 47. Well Dad. It just goes to show. That Spurs no. absolutely no. suck. <laughs> that is the best Spurs team you'll ever see. And oh. they absolutely Spurs it. Well, they, they did it after over the five seasons, wasn't it? Because Arsenal won the Cups. You won the Premier League more times than I did. Yeah, I won it three. Yeah. So you had out of a side there. Or was it 2-2? Oh, no, it was 2-2. Was it? It was, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the last one. Yeah. 
It's and just the second season. What done it for me was the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Yeah, you won loads them, of them. Whereas I don't think I won any of them. No. I won a Champions League, but I didn't win any other cups. It can't. Whoever wins is what you consider to be more successful. I consider when the Champions League being more successful. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> I'm only joking. Points wise, you absolutely obliterated yeah. me. I did win the big one, but. Yeah, points wise, you absolutely smashed me. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. The alternate version I, that everybody was asking for for the I North did London and I didn't. Derby. <laughs> yeah. But let me know down in the comments if you want to see any more just like this. We've got a few up our sleeve planned for future videos as well. And of course, check out this video right here. I took over by Leverkusen for 10 seasons on Football Manager and gave myself three challenges to accomplish. Find out if I did them.